Listen, I am Hamite. You are Hamite. You are like the Ethi yes, you're like the Ethiopian who married like the Ethiopian woman who married Moses. You're from that family. Thank that, you. Yes. Okay, yes. that's fine. You're Cushite, which is Hamite. That's fine. Yes. Okay? And that's all I'm saying. We're not saying that Gentiles cannot make it. Gentiles can make it. But you must reject all the paganism. Like for instance, do you celebrate Christmas? Not like uh, European Christmas. No. We don't celebrate with the three stuff. Okay, I'm going to ask you again. Do you celebrate Christmas? That's December 25th. Yes or no? No. Do you do Sunday worship? Yes. Okay. Including Saturday. No, let's not include Saturday. Do you do Sunday worship as the main day of worship during the week? Yes. Okay. That's pagan. That's against God. That's against Christ. How come? How come? How come? I need you to go to Exodus, the 20th chapter. To what? Exodus. In your Bible. Exodus. 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 What chapter? Uh, the 20th chapter, ma'am. Here we are. You there? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Okay, I need you to go to Exodus 20, and I need you to read the 8th verse, which is one of the Ten Commandments. Yes, here. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy? Hold up. Six Stop. Days Stop right there. Remember what day? The Shabbat. And to keep that day holy, right? Mm -hmm. Now read the ninth verse. The ninth verse? Okay. Um, wait, you were there before. Six days thou shalt Six thou days. labor. Okay, one minute. Six days you shall labor. And do all your work. Read. But the seventh day is Sabbath. The what day? To the Lord. The seventh day. Okay, let's day talk. Okay, 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 let's talk about it now. Mm -hmm. If you have a calendar in front of you, Sunday is what day of the week? Sunday. Sunday is what day, what number of day of the week is Sunday? Uh, Sunday is, um, according to the Bible, the first day. It's according to anything. Sunday is the first day of the week. Yeah. When did God ever say to have the first day as a Sabbath? Uh, Saturday. Listen. The Sabbath, according to the Bible, Hannah, is Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. That Sabbath, uh -huh. it'd been like that before Adam. When God created in the beginning, he created the heaven and earth in seven days. And six mm -hmm. day, in six days, and on the seventh day, he rested. And then it, you got that, right? So, yes. so to... So in respect of the God in Christ who created the earth that have blessed us, we can at least honor that God in Christ. We can honor right. him and respect the fact that he gave us all of this in six and told us to rest on seven and hollow that to remember the blessing he had given us, which is earth. So Jesus, what day did he raise risen? Okay, we're gonna deal with that. We're gonna deal. We're gonna deal with that. But we're gonna deal with this seven thing first. Yeah, you, 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 I, I understand now. You oh, 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 oh listen, uh, listen. I know where your mind is going now, because right now you're gonna to have to deal with the fact that only the devil would tell you to do reverse of what God said do. And see what nobody can do, and that's why we gotta straighten these churches out. We're not going to let people in church tell us that 
Christ came to undo what his father set up. Christ came to do the will of his father. And here it is, these crazed Christians out there are trying to make it as if Christ came with a different program. That's disingenuous and dishonorable. Christ says, I came not down to do my own will, but the will of him that sent him. The will of him that sent him, which is God, said, remember the seventh day and keep it holy. Christ also said, think not that I've come to change the law or the prophets. I've come not to de not to destroy the law of the prophets, but I came to fulfill. Malachi 3 and 6 says, I'm the God of Jacob and I change not. Therefore, my sons of Jacob are not consumed. The Most High doesn't change. Man change and want God to conform into what they think. The Bible says here, remember the Sabbath. Only the devil would change the seventh day to the first day. Now, your next question is, what day did, did Christ rise from the grave, right? Sunday. Okay. The Bible stated that Christ would be in the earth three days and three nights, correct? Yes. Okay. If he was crucified on Good Friday, which is sundown Friday, I need you to count three days right now from Friday. Uh, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Okay, so if it what you were thinking, shouldn't Monday be the day and not Sunday? You can't get three days between Good Friday and Sunday. Maybe Sunday night? Again, Friday, a full three days and a full three nights in the grave is what the Bible said would happen for Christ's resurrection. Mm -hmm. So you cannot get Sunday anywhere if he died on Good Friday. Sunday is not in the mix at all. So then the Christians lied to believers again so that they could worship the sun God that was being worshiped in ancient Babylon and that came directly from the Roman Catholic Church who are sun worshipers. Have nothing to do with God and Christ. So then you have to ask yourself this question. When Christ tell those believers who come to him and Christ shut the door and say, get away from me, you workers of iniquity, for you have not known me. Are you sure you following the correct Christ? Because Christ don't know anyone who worship on a Sunday. When his father said, remember the Sabbath. So you, you've learned another Christ. And that's why I'm here before you to say it's time for you to get right. And get right with God's people because Christ is about to return. And Sunday, the Sunday church will burn. Okay. We should worship him on Monday. Not Monday at all because no one said set up a holy day based on when Christ resurrected. That's the excuse the Christian church gave people in deceiving them into Sunday. Okay, no it's one, listen, let me tell you again. No one ever said, listen to me clearly. No one ever, Christ never told people once he resurrected to now switch the Sabbath to Sunday. Christ never said that. There's another scripture for you. So let, let's show you the day the disciples and the Christians were worshiping on, even Gentiles, even after Christ's resurrection. You ready? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I need you to go to the book of Acts. It's right after the Gospels, the 13th chapter. Yeah. You there? Yes. So let's see. Let's see. What day the Gentiles and the Israelites who were following Christ? Let's see what day they were worshiping after Christ's resurrection. All right, let's see if it was Sunday. Read the 42nd verse. Uh, 
42nd. The 42nd verse. Yeah. You can read it. When the Jews were here. Yeah. You can read it. I found when the Jews were gone out of the synagogue, the Gentiles that this were words might be preached to them the next Sabbath. The next what? The next Sabbath. Okay, let's stop real quick. So this is after Christ have already died and resurrected. And still they're hollowing the Sabbath in respect of God's commandments. So Christ didn't Christ didn't switch the Sabbath to Sunday. The Catholic Church did. They're not dealing with Sunday after the resurrection. So why are we? Why are you? The Bible didn't tell you to do that. Now, are you going to follow man or Christ? Christ. That means you will never walk in a Sunday service again, realizing that it's Satan. And follow the Sabbath, which is Friday sundown, to Saturday sundown to be accepted through Christ. Now, why will you do that? I'm going to show you why. This is this is Christ talking to you right here out of the Bible. Right? I need you to go to Matthew, the fifth chapter. Matthew? Sure. Matthew? Yes. The fifth chapter. So you can't, and I'm, you notice that I'm taking you to the scripture so that you cannot claim these are my words. Now, this is, this is the Christ. This is Christ. Yeshaya is his name. There's no E sounds in his name. His name is Yeshaya. Read the 17th verse. Okay, Matthew chapter 5. 5 verse 17. Yeah, I found it. You can read it. Think not, I am come to destroy the law or the prophet. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So did Christ destroy the law that says, remember the Sabbath to keep it holy? No. Man did. The satanic, holy, so-called holy, it just got holes all through it. Roman Catholic Church. They enslaved the world and lied to them and ushered in the Babylonian Cushite to be worshipped by the name of Talmuz slash Nimrod. It's the worship, it's the worshiping of the sun on the first day of the week. It's nothing original about that. They did that in defiance against God when building the Tower of Babel. They would have people build the tower and rest on the first day of the week during the time of Nimrod. And that's where your Sunday worship comes from. That was the first temple to Satan. So we should go back to Sabbath? Go back to? Of course. Yeah. We should not have left it. Oh, okay. All right. But there is no church in the, that uh, they have service on Sabbath. Well, you guess what? Where two or more are gathered, mm -hmm. Christ is in the midst. You reach out to me, gathering as one at AOL.com. You reach out to us and we will find you some, we'll find you some people to do Sabbath with. The Most High in Christ doesn't need a lot of people. Okay? You do, you. How about the Orthodox religion? Huh? How about the Orthodox religion? The Orthodox religion has some old traditional values that are correct. But the mm -hmm. Orthodox Church went off too. It was the Danites who constructed the original Orthodox Greek Church. Now, there's a lot of rich tradition and values that are still instilled in that, but they went off too. Follow, listen, follow.
follow this work. The Bible says what? That your teachers will not be scattered in corners anymore, that your eyes shall see your teachers. And that's why you called in. 